Hey Soul Tribe, welcome back to Manifesting Mondays. So today is going to be a very important lesson for you guys to keep in mind. So what I wanted to show you guys was the fact that life is kind of like a pendulum. So I brought my pendulum over here. As it moves from side to side, this kind of shows the polarity of things. So everything has a negative side and everything has a positive side. So the more energy that you put into something, then the stronger the energy gets. So for example, when you are manifesting, when you are visualizing things that you want and you put a lot of power and desire into that, then naturally you're going to vibrate and energy towards the things that you want. So for example, uh, when it comes to, to manifesting and when it comes to visualizing something that you really, really want, there's going to be a point in time where you get a negative thought okay so everybody gets it everybody has negative thoughts it's almost unavoidable so what i wanted to let you guys know was that it's not the end all be all if you have a negative thought it's not the end what i want to tell you was that when it comes to positive thoughts that positive vibration is way more stronger than a negative thought so as soon as you feel like um, you're starting to think negatively, you can easily switch that around and start thinking about positive things, the positive thoughts that will attract something towards you, okay? Because that way, a positive thought, one positive thought is way more powerful than one negative thought, okay? So keep that in mind. So what I also needed to show you guys was that the power of which you manifest something is super important because when you start to want something so strongly and the importance of that thing that you are manifesting into your life is so strong that you're visualizing, visualizing, visualizing and you're not living in the now, that is a block. So when you start to put in too much power then the pendulum goes out of control and you end up losing the thing that you have been wanting or you just get the opposite of it. So um, you, have to, you have to remain in, in some sort of balance. So you have to stay in balance. You have to be in a vibration of rhythm instead of just going crazy out of control because that's an imbalance. And when you put too much importance on something without living in the now, then that is going to push the thing that you want away, okay? So that's very important to keep in mind because, for example, um, I when I was younger, I played in a sport. And me and my team, we wanted to win so bad. This was a really important game. So we practiced, practiced, practiced um, as much as we could. And before this big game, we ended up doing really well. We played really well, um, really good practice games. And our every time we had a practice, like everyone was on their A game, okay? So what happened was that when this very important game um, the day came, so we actually ended up losing it. And the reason why was because there was so much importance on it that it, it pushed it away. And we had another game later on that season that it wasn't that important, but we didn't take it too seriously. And we actually ended up winning that game and it is because we didn't take it too seriously so that's something that really just shows how much 
things can kind of get out of balance when you put too much importance on something. For example, this game, when you're just playing out of wanting to win instead of playing for fun, that is an imbalance. And that is something that could potentially push what you want away. So when you focus too much on something that you are just ignoring the now and just having fun in the moment, living in the moment, and being present, okay? So another thing that is super, super, super important to keep in mind is patience, okay? So patience, when you are impatient about something that is pushing what you want away. So you will always be tested with your patience. If you are uh, being impatient, that will push the very thing that you want away. So again, this is why I stress so much that it's so important to live in the present moment. It's so important to live in the now because that is something that can help you to um, be grateful for the things that you have already and be grateful for the moment at hand instead of um, thinking about the future. So when you think too much about the future or think too much about the thing that you want, the thing that you really want in your life, that you really want to manifest, it, it makes you anxious. And when you're anxious, that is also an imbalance. That is also a block that's going to push the very thing that you want away. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys a little demonstration with my very own pendulum here. And this is just meant to show you guys uh, the power of your words and the power of your thoughts, okay? Because when it comes to the power of your thoughts and your words, this is something that will... Uh, take action in your life, okay? So, for example, when it comes to this pendulum, if I say yes, it'll move back and forth. If I say no, it will go side to side. So that is just the power of my voice, the power of my word, and I'll show you guys right now, okay? So, yes, yes, go to yes, 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 okay, so you guys can see that. It's moving back and forth. This is just by the power of my energy, my voice, my intention. Whatever your intention is, that's what's going to push this, okay? So we can still it, still, still, okay? So we're going to go to no now. We're going to go to no. So go to no. Go to no. Go to no. Show me no. Show me no. Okay, guys. So it's going left to right. So this is this is no. And this is just this is just me speaking what my intention is with this pendulum, which is to move it in that direction. So when you speak something, you are vibrating it towards something that you, you're wanting. Whether it's good or bad, it's moving towards something. So you always have to be mindful with your words because your intentions with your words has a lot of power. And if you don't believe me, you guys can get your very own pendulum and you can try this out for yourselves if you think that, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm cheating or something, but <laughs> you guys can try it out yourselves. You can get your uh, a necklace that has um, something something heavy at the bottom and you can try this out yourself and you will see the power of your of your word, the power of your word with your intentions. Okay, so now I want to show you guys the power of your mind because your thoughts are just as important as your words, okay? So the same thing. This is yes and then this is no. I'm just going to say it in my head. We're going to do yes first. Okay, guys, you can see that.
okay so that was yes and i didn't even have to say anything that was just the power of my thoughts okay so now we're gonna do no Okay, guys, so you can see that, right? It's going left to right. And this is just this is just my mind. This is just my thought that is provoking a reaction. It's provoking um, a movement. It's provoking shifts and energy, okay? This is all just energy work. Your mind and your thoughts all has to do with your vibrations and your energy levels. So the most important thing to get out of this is just to be mindful when it comes to putting too much importance on something that you really want because that can you know it can make things imbalanced and will it will either go out of control like again with this pendulum you put too much energy into something and it will just go crazy and loop it will it's all over the place and you'll either lose the thing that you want or you'll get the opposite. So remaining balanced and uh, focusing on in the moment and also when you do have a negative thought because like that pendulum, there's two poles, there's a negative and there's a positive and we're always going to go back and forth with it. But as soon as you have that negative thought, you can always just cover it up with a positive one. So that is a way where we can kind of have some type of control when you are um, either visualizing or doing affirmations or just having more positive thinking. Um, we can always just switch that negative to a positive because it's it's something that's always gonna go back and forth. It's gonna happen in life. It's life for humans, but at least we have some form of control over it. And with that, I will leave you guys for the rest of your day. And thank you for all of those who have already subscribed to my channel. I'm truly grateful. And thank you for everyone who has supported me. And if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you can be updated for more future videos when it comes to manifesting with me. And we will just continue this momentum that we have going on. And I'm just super excited to teach you all what I have learned over the past years. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.